Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from uh, December 28th to January 3rd, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. I want to wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas and Happy Annika to all of you out there. Buon Natale, Joyeux Noel and Feliz Navidad. My family and I and uh, of course my fur babies and my mom, Giovannina, uh, we want to all tell you thank you from the Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the beautiful messages that you've been leaving. We've been getting a lot of feedback about in emails about my mom's prayers and how uh, people's situations, um, whatever it was that they were, uh, you know, asking for uh, helped. And so uh, my mom says that she's going to continue to pray for you three times a day. All you need to do is relay the messages, uh, write down the messages in the comments below so that I could relay them to her. She's very humbled by this experience and so are we. So... I'm so happy to be here with all of you. For those of you that do not know, I'm active in my community now for 26 years and I channel messages from my higher self and the divine and I use the cards as a tool to relate the messages on YouTube. Uh, but I usually channel uh, without the cards. Uh, now, um, I, did, I do want to mention a few things because um, uh, I feel that a lot of people are skipping the, the intro and it's fine. It's just that then after that, it, you know, they go all over the social media to ask questions. And so um, I hope that all of you will listen to this. Underneath the video, there's two sites for crystals at this moment. So when you go there, you get percentage off and off, uh, off my name. And then there's a the weekly schedule, of course. Uh, there's the social media where you could uh, join me as uh, Patricia Luna on uh, Facebook. You could follow me there. Uh, there's also a Facebook group that I am um, expanding there and it's expanding. Everybody's talking with everybody. It's such a beautiful community. I'm so blessed for that. And I will be coming in to do a question and answers and a collective readings on Facebook because I never did it live on Facebook before. So I hope for some of you, you could join me. If not, there's Patricia underscore 1111 on Instagram as well. And I do also come on randomly to give readings. Um... Now, uh, about recommendations, I have Mark, uh, for some of you that already know this, Mark has been healing a lot of my beautiful family, family here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, uh, emails uh, telling me how much they love Mark. And so if those of you that do want Mark as a healer, he's also a channeler. He also reads cards as well. He doesn't do cards. He's just a channeler. Uh, but he does readings. Uh, his email is underneath the video. For those of you also, there's a new person that I want to introduce to you all. It's Her name is Corrine, and uh, it's called Body Talk. And I don't know how to explain it. I had a few sessions with her because I wanted to try it out. And it's it's super amazing, the instant healing that you get from her. And if those of you that want to know what Body Talk is, just uh, follow the website. It's going to be, everything is going to be underneath the video. And uh, you're going to be amazed. And I have nothing, I don't know how much more to say, but you're going to be amazed. Um, then there's also recommendations of uh, Steve Noble on uh, YouTube as meditations. And uh, Abigail Wainwright, uh, who is a light worker, light language uh, activator and healer. She's also on YouTube. For those of you that are always asking me, Patricia, I love your lipstick. Where can I get it? Well, there's a website now where you could get it um, and uh, when you go through the checkout you put patricia 1111 you get 15 percent off <laughs> so i i figured i should just put it on there um now for those of you that want to write to me uh it's a uh, patricia uh, there's a p.o box number underneath the the this of course this uh video all you have to press is the little button and you're going to see everything including uh, my email uh, my website will be up it's uh, actually has been starting to work on um nick lord is uh, the person i engaged to do uh, the to do the, the my website because he's all technical and also he's a reader as well but he's also uh, you're going to see him on uh, facebook group if those of you that want to contact him for an emergency reading you could go to him i am booked uh, and uh, and the thing is, is that uh, for those of you that are writing to me emails, just be patient, okay? Because I have a lot of people writing in and uh, pretty soon it will be, be going on the website and you can schedule your own reading with me. Uh, what else uh, did I want to mention? Oh, yes. Thank you for all the beautiful donations. I really appreciate all of them. And uh, there's a link underneath the video and in the about section as well. And so now let's get started with your reading. I just saw 444. We're going to start with the singing bowl. Okay. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I know it's a long intro, but I have to tell you what I had to tell you. Okay. So now 
I'm going to invoke Archangel Metatron to come in with the sun grid of love, light, and protection with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to invoke Mother Gaia to sustain the healing and reading and ground us. I will also uh, invoke Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Raphael to send healing energies of uh, body, mind, and spirit. Uh, I will invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your situation. I will invoke Archangel Gabriel, last but not least, to raise the frequency of the collective uh, with uh, with intentions. And uh, so all you need to do is you can participate in that or you could just take a deep breath in and let it all go. So let's get started. Okay, Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Angel Michael for a breakthrough. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, peace. I'll put this next to Sandy. You don't mind, Sandy? <laughs> no, she doesn't mind. So let's start with your um, reading. I'm so happy to be here with you, all of you. How are you all doing, my beautiful Taurus gang? My Taurus, my bull gang, my Taurus gang. Let's see what your affirmation is from December 28th to January 1st. No, January 3rd. Okay. And you have friendship and it says i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason so now let's look at um gaia oracle for some of you this will be a, a confirmation for others of you this uh, will just mean that um gaia is going to show me where you've been where you're at and what's coming for you even though right now things seem to be bleak uh, Mother Gaia is guiding you, loving you, supporting you with the angels along your journey. And she will show you the way where there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? So this is for you, my beautiful Taurus. One. Two. You got four cards. Hmm. All righty. So let's see what's going on with you here, Taurus. First one you got is attachment. So a lot of you at this time or recently have been, uh, you know, letting go of uh, restrictions, fears, patterns, whatever it is, people or situations that were not for your highest good or even, like I said, patterns, behaviors. So there is some type of letting go. Uh, you are, uh, you know, you are breaking the boxes, breaking open, so and, and letting go of uh, this fear. You also have loss. So uh, maybe some of you out there have lost someone close to you. It could be that, and they're sending love to you, and you're, you're sad about it. There's grief around the situation. Okay, uh, there's sadness and grief, or uh, it could be someone that you were speaking to. It could be just anybody. Okay, it could be a family member, whatever it is. But the thing is with this loss is that there's a resurrection. And what it means that is that something is coming back again. So there is something coming back, not for someone that passed away or crossed over, but maybe a friend that you lost touch with or a family member or a daughter or a grandmother, a grandfather. There's some type uh, or a lover or whatever, a friend. There's someone that's coming back here into the picture. Okay. Next card you got is evolution. So you are evolving. And this talks about earth changes, climate changes, and huge transformations that you're going through. So whatever Mother, Mother Gaia is going through, Taurus, you are going through it with her, okay? 
And last but not least, you got the Eternal Dance. And this is about movement, wheel of life, and path of least resistance. Path of least resistance. Beautiful. So now let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Taurus Sun and anywhere you have Taurus in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading is confusing and it doesn't re resonate with you this week, it means maybe, probably, that you're not in your sun sign. And look at your rising, your moon, Venus, Mercury, and your north node. But if it does resonate, claim it 100% without a doubt. Now, I'm going to show you where you are, Taurus, what's crossing you, what is spirit trying to tell you. Your, your, wants you to know your recent path, past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to. And at the end of that, I will give you a crystal card. I will give you a sacred geometry card, romance angel cards, and an archangel Michael card. And I do hope that you stay with me till the end. And if you do, I thank you in advance. So let's get started. The cards are ready because I had pre-shuffled them before. Let's see what's going on for you, my beautiful Taurus. Okay. Cards are just like sliding up. Okay, let's look at the outcome. There's no resistance in the cards whatsoever here. Okay. Here we go. So now I will take in my spray. My secret spray. Some for you. Some for me. Mm, so, so oh, beautiful. Anyways, okay. Overall energy is the three of swords reversed, Taurus. So uh, there has been a lot of healing taking place. Okay, where uh, do you uh, healing? Uh, maybe from broken heartedness or just in general something that has been with you for a very very long time, not just recently. Okay. Um, also, not having that self confidence in yourself, trying to tame something within you was like. Uh, Maybe some of you were not even feeling well, okay? And so it could have been health-wise for some of you. Uh, um, and with the Three of Swords reversed, it's showing me that you're coming out of this uh, stage where you've been healing. Where you're at now is the Ace of Pentacles. Congratulations. This talks about something coming in, unexpected money, a gift probably, or something tangible that's starting off. It's going to start you off in the right direction. What's crossing you is the High Priestess, is your intuition, because some of you have been working on this at this time. Or uh, some of you may be working as a... Uh, you know, a psychic, a medium here, or a healer, an astrologer, and uh, something is coming in to help you, you know, with all the hard work you've been doing. What Spirit wants you to focus on is this three of wands reversed. You're not waiting anymore for a situation to come in. Um, you lost faith in the situation or you, you, you made peace with it. In the recent past till now, you have justice. So something is coming into balance. You were trying to bring something into balance, maybe money, something financial, something stable here. This is about truth and integrity that's coming in for you. Uh, what's crowning you is the Seven of Wands energy. The Seven of Wands talks about where there's so many obstacles along the way. And uh, some of you already accomplished this. So the Seven of Wands talks about where uh, you're going to overcome whatever the situation is. In the immediate future, you got the chariot. This is cancer energy. But the chariot talks about when you take control and you go move forward. You're not moving forward, right? You're still not moving forward in the way that you want to go. You're contemplating. In what's supporting you is the full reverse. That's it. So you're not taking a leap of faith in a situation. You're taking your time, okay? Because you're using your intuition a lot, okay? And for some of you, you're in, your intuition enhanced in the last month. What is hidden from you is the four swords. So you've been healing a lot. You've been cutting people out, situations out of your life. But there's been a healing of the heart, mind, the heart, the mind, which 
and like the crown and the heart chakra and the solar plexus here. So there's been a lot of rest here. Uh, what I do see here in hopes and fears is there's a new emotional experience. So this could be a friendship or something emotional that's taking place right now. And in the outcome, we got the two of cups energy, two people coming together. This doesn't have to be about love only. Okay. So uh, this like uh, Taurus, I'm just going to repeat. This could be about you, vice versa, or the cross water. You just take in the situations and the messages in the way that uh, resonates with you. The rest, let them go because it might belong to somebody else. And remember, even though I put the date from December 28th to January 3rd, um, my readings are timeless. So it could happen like now or it could happen in six months from now. So, okay, we're ready. Now we're going to start clarifying. Let's look at this Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah. Overall, it's a nice energy up to now. You've got the Nine of Wands reversed, the Three of Wands reversed. A lot of you are not looking in the future. You're staying in the moment. You're in the moment to see the magical blessings taking place and judgment. Okay, so there is some type of judgment, revelation, insight uh, that's coming in for you. Something faded could be money. Like I said, unexpected gift here. Uh, some of you um, have surrendered, have surrendered with the nine of wands reversed and with the three of wands reversed. You are not looking to the future at this moment. You're just really presently here in the moment. Okay, this is what the spirit is telling me. Let's look at the High Priestess, what is crossing you. Temperance. Okay. Using your intuition, your insights. Okay, there's patience is needed in a situation here. Just be patient. This is also about alchemy. It also talks about where you're modeling your life, not just your life, but your body, mind, and spirit, and knowing that this has to all operate in one. So it's beautiful healing that taking place here. Your spiritual gifts are enhancing. You're getting a lot of creative ideas. There's a lot of, there's maybe a, some sort of communication taking place between you and spirit about these creative ideas. You're getting insights or just talking to people that are, you know, you have a lot of ideas here. Um, also, social media is involved in this where people are watching you, um, uh, you know, uh, or thinking about you or uh, like I said, with the Page of Swords, it's a, it's a beautiful card where there's uh, a lot of creative ideas. And what's taking place is taking that leap of faith. There's a path that's being opened here for you. Okay. Now, let's look at what Spirit wants you to focus on. Let's look at this Three of Wands reversed because you've got it twice reversed. You've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Five of Cups energy. Ten of Cups. Okay, I get it. So let's say this was a job or a situation or a person in the past. Okay, whatever it is that you cut out. Because there's something that was cut out here. You're not waiting for a person anymore. Okay, I just feel that. Uh, this person, there was, there was a situation here that was really unstable. This is what they're showing me. And this unstableness caused a lot of pain for you, whatever the situation was here for you, whether it was money, a job, a person. The Five of Cups talks about where there's grief, sadness in a situation. You're letting go, you're purging. Um, what else does it say? It talks about where, uh, you know, letting go of resentment and looking at the bigger picture and not just focusing on just what went wrong and maybe also admitting also towards, you know, yourself. Uh, accepting the fact that sometimes, you know, we all make mistakes, right? So it's, uh, you know, to be kind to ourselves because this talks about um, seeing the bigger picture and it's about seeing the silver lining and knowing that things happen for a reason. And when this takes place for you and you release it, 
I got the Ten of Cups energy. So what I feel here is that there is a new start of emotions taking place within you, maybe in a relationship, in whatever situation. If you're single and there's nobody, then you're happy in your home. You're happy with your community and the closest friends that you have. Okay, this also could talk about a soulmate energy. Now let's look at justice in the recent past because something here came in with the truth. The truth, something, something that you've been trying to bring into balance is here for you. You got the Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of the Queen of Swords. Okay. Whatever it is that came into justice or will be coming into justice for you, okay, something's coming into balance with. In, you know, being truthful and uh, in, um, towards yourself and others and integrity. Whatever this is with the Three of Pentacles, I see this as a strong foundation. There is some strong, there is a strong foundation here and everybody cooperating. And maybe you're going to be working in three if this has to do with work, okay? There's a triangle here. It's very beautiful. And what you, what you were trying to balance out is what you were removing is the fears, Okay, in your situation, Neptune energy, illusion, distortion, can be about deception. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces, people that were not for your highest good. Okay, people that were lying, not telling you the truth. And so what took place is that this balance took place. There's like this, you know, this. there's a strong foundation here. For some of you, this is, could be also marriage here for some of you. But there's a strong foundation here. And you became this queen of swords energy. Which means that um, you're very alert when people come towards you with lies. And you're able to cut them out. Okay? <clears throat> now let's look at the Seven of Wands and what's crowning you. You've got the Ten of Wands. You're tired. You're tired, Taurus. And carrying a lot on your shoulders. But the Ten becomes a One. So something will be released from you. Your back is probably hurting. Your shoulders are hurting. And also your arms. And your knees including your neck. Okay, there we go. And so what it is, is that uh, what's taking place here is that um, there's a lot of confusion at this time, maybe for some of you. <clears throat> you have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of aspirations, you know, you want everything, it's normal, right? Uh, but there is confusion here. And there's a need to be grounded. for Because all of you are still going through the uh, dark night of the soul, you're still releasing this, okay? This is what you're doing. You're still releasing this with the collective. It's about surrendering. There's a need to surrender. Now, uh, let's look at the chariot reverse here. Why is the chariot reversed in the immediate future? Got the four pentacles reversed, the eight of swords reversed, and the seven of pentacles right now you have seven 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 on the ground so when it talks about you're not taking control right now okay in the immediate future you're not going to take control okay of a situation even though that you're not holding back there's no more holding back at this point uh you're not feeling stuck but you're still numb forging ahead why because you're at crossroads you're re refocusing re un you're analyzing seeing how far you come maybe in money or just in your life Let's look at the full reversed in what's supporting you right now, Taurus. There's the Five of Swords energy followed by the Two of Pentacles here. You're trying to bring something into balance and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so um, the Five of Wands energy, there's a lot of drama around you. This could be also the collective at this time with all the energies, of, a lot of negative energies, a lot of feisty energy, rage. Uh, what they're showing me is that you need to raise your frequency and raise above the situation. So maybe meditate, do some, you know, grounding, whatever it is, you need to rise above this situation here. Uh, some of you are being pulled in two different directions. Maybe there's something in, within you that you're trying to fight off. And this is about, again, being grounded. What I do see here is that there is going to be a quick message coming in, an unexpected message, okay? Now, I just want to take out an extra card for this unexpected message coming in with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so uh, there's going to be an offer made for you, okay, Taurus? But you will, uh, it, it's, a, it's a beginning, it's a start of pen, uh, the, the Princess of Pentacles. It's a start of something 
is an offer here. To, um, and there's going to be a quick message about that. But you need to discern and you need to use your intuition. Okay, so your intuition. Trust your intuition on this situation here. So I asked when this Knight of Swords or whoever this is that comes in to ask uh, to to start something with some type of uh, some type of offer here to use your uh, intuition. You got Gemini energy. There's a choice that will have to be made. Now let's look at the Four of Swords. What is hidden from you? You got the Strength card, the Ace of Cups. And the Hermit reverse. So the Four of Swords and the Hermit card are two of the same cards. So you've been resting. For those of you that did not know this about Taurus, they've been healing a lot at this time. And they're going to come out of their Hermit mode uh, where they were, uh, you know, were focusing on their healing and themselves. Some of you were dealing with a Virgo. And what's taking place here is with the Ace of Cups and the uh, Strength card, this is you returning to unconditional love, healing your heart. Um, yes, it will be very overwhelming, but you will be at peace. Uh, this is new love that's coming in for you, or an old love, it could be. And with the strength card, there's a lot of healing, a beautiful healing taking place here for all of you, Taurus. And I'm very happy to see this. Uh, this talks about having self-confidence in yourself, uh, having the courage, feeling better. It's beautiful energy here, okay? Now let's look at the Page of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. The devil, Saturn energy here. There's a breakthrough. Maybe there's someone that, um, the chariot, okay. And the two of cups reversed. So some of you are, are, are still dealing with someone in your environment. Maybe you're talking to someone that is toxic. There is someone that's toxic here, okay? doesn't mean that it can be anything, okay? But they're not good. They're, this is a, it was a new, some type of new emotional experience that's taking place. And um, what I see is that there's going to be a breakthrough in this. And you're going to be moving uh, forward very quickly from the situation because the two of cups is reversed. Something is not right here. Okay, so you're going to feel this because you are going to be trusting your intuition. This is what you've been working on. And uh, Cancerian energy here. You're going to be moving very quickly uh, and taking control of your life. Taking control and moving forward with ambition and positive times. That's why the Three of Wands is reversed with the Nine of Wands. You're not looking into this situation because probably you made a judgment in a situation here. Okay? Now, let's look at the Two of Cups in the outcome. So there is Two of Cups here. I see the King of Pentacles. Nice energy. This could be you in a uh, job, an opportunity here. Or there's someone towards Virgo or Capricorn around you. It doesn't have to be that sign. But this is someone well accomplished here in business, okay? They, they may be just a slight older than you. They're very smart individuals. And they're very grounded. So the Two of Cups is with the King of Pentacles. And what else here? Okay. So what they're showing me, okay, hold on. This is something else. I'll put this on the side. I'm just going to finish with the Two of Cups energy and the King of Pentacles. Okay, this I don't know who this message is for, but someone here is yearning, or some of you are yearning to be with a soulmate energy. Okay, um, what I see is two people coming together here, right? <clears throat> Stability, being successful, victory taking place. Something that is a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups energy. Something that's wish fulfillment. I also see here the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a King and Queen of Pentacles energy here. Okay. Two people. Right. Um, but what I'm I'm picking up another storyline, and I'm just gonna share it to you in, in a second here. Let me just finish finish this uh, overall. And the spirit does that. Sometimes they'll put a mini reading in uh, for me for someone that's really been asking and uh, maybe hurting in a situation. Or wanting to know something. So let's just give one more card for 
So, uh, yeah, so there is someone in coming in with action. Could be a fire sign. Now, um, they may have a young spirit at heart, but they're a bit older. Okay, so they're, they're young at heart, but they're a bit older. Okay, whoever this person is. Now, let's look at the Three of Swords reversed here. There's the Three of Cups energy followed by the Magician. So this is someone from your past. This heartbreak was someone from your past. It could have been um, interference taking place, people, situations, third parties. And uh, what you're trying to do is that you are... Um, it was not stable. The situation was not stable with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Swords. You're, you, you've you been healing something here of the past here. Uh, something that was hidden from you. Okay? Um, and uh, But you... You saw the truth in the situation. And with the High Priestess, you're trying to manifest. Uh, you have all the elements here to manifest all your desires if you really want them. Now, over here, what they're showing me is someone here that, um, you know, are, is not sleeping at night. A lot of worry uh, in the situation. Accepted the fact of the situation. That's why that there's no sleeping here at this time. Uh, lost faith and hope uh, on uh, something that they really wished upon. Because I do see like the King of Wands reverse, someone not taking action here. Uh, there's a delay with the Sun card. And again, the Three of Swords energy of a heartbreak. And some of you are considering if you should stay or go. You're not sure yet because you haven't gone. You're still like not sure what's taking place here. There's a lot of emotions. You're weighing the pros and the cons in a situation. So let me see overall energy of this. Because this is a, like a small little mini reading. Yeah, something that lost passion with the Ace of, uh, of Wands reversed. There's a lot of pain here. Something that was not stable. Let me see that was in. So what is the outcome of this for Taurus, whoever this message is for? You're going to rise above the situation. You're going to rise above it, okay, with the seven of wands. There is a death and a rebirth taking place in your life. So there's ending of a lot of situations that you're letting go of. Or a relationship, or it doesn't have to be, whatever situation. And a huge transformation, scorpion energy here, okay? And underneath the deck is that there's something here that's still, uh, that is not in divine timing yet, okay? Um, but you are working on yourselves, and there is something that is unfinished in your life. Unfinished business. All right. So now let's look at the crystals. See what crystals you will need from December 28th to January 3rd, 2020. You've got one. I usually take out two cards. Taurus. All right. So the first one you got is Aventurin and Citrin. Aventurin talks about create your own luck and citrine is, is bring in the light. So these will be the two crystals that you will be needing for as long as you need them. Now we're going to take out a card from the Sacred Geometry for you, Taurus. Well, you got um, you, you got the Hertz card, so you got um, expression. It's time to express yourself. Seven four one Hertz. So okay, so okay, so uh, it's all about expression, speaking the truth, speaking from your heart. I know you do already, but this is the so you all you need to do is go on YouTube and uh, you know do uh, some of seven four one Hertz energy. Okay. Now, let's look at the Romance Angels. Usually take out six cards to make it fair for everybody here. Cards. 
give your uh so for some of you it's give up your give your relationship a chance it could be just any type of relationship that you're in um work on your partnership some of you need to release your ex and the energy from someone from your past they're saying that uh you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully attraction so there is attraction here uh religious factors are uh maybe a a problem in your life or influence your love life is influenced by the religious upbringing and spiritual path some of you are calling in your soulmate by visualizing affirmations uh there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversations taking place for you honestly discuss your feelings with each other uh extend your light-hearted energy light-hearted energy to others so flirting and let last but not least let your friends help you Taurus. ask for and accept support from others if you need it now let's see what Archangel Michael wants to tell all of you. That card went flying. Let's see what it is. Where did it go? No, actually, you got two cards. They're saying to be gentle with yourself, Taurus, at this time. Uh, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience feeling la lasting inner peace. And, I, and then the next card he goes uh, is Ar ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation and your periods. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with describe your situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times so i hope that you enjoyed your reading actually i just also want to say happy new year to everybody here i wish you all the best i hope that all your blessings come true and that to you and your family god bless and uh anyways i'll see you next week take care of yourself this will pass taurus know that i love you bye and i have your back